What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today's video is an exciting one, they always are to me. We have a few things, one, hopefully the video quality is going to be significantly better. Uh, I have upgraded from an iPhone 8 to an iPhone 12, uh, so this is now being recorded on an iPhone 12, so uh, hopefully it is a lot better. Uh, two, I'm going to be going over my very first ever PSA submission which includes some uh, base set cards. Uh, so make sure you uh, keep watching for that. Uh, going to be going over the giveaway and then also going to be opening the Eternatus VMAX uh, collection box. So was recently announced that Pokemon are going to stop printing this. So uh, I managed to get hold of one. Uh, I got two actually, I put one away for a rainy day and we keep that sealed, but I needed the promos. So uh, I made sure I picked up one, I also needed the pin. Now, first thing before we uh, move forward is I need to go over the giveaway. So a quick reminder, uh, because we are close to hitting the goal, uh, at least in terms of the likes, the subscribers we need a bit of work on. Uh, what we are doing is this Friday, the 19th when Battle Stars releases, I will be doing a, a giveaway where eight people will win the contents of a Battle Stars Elite Trainer Box. Now, the way that will work is I will open the Elite Trainer Box, perhaps as part of a stream or a video. Um, if it's streamed, it will uh, stay on the channel as a video. And uh, the contents of eight of those packs will be sent out to uh, eight winners. Um, if we can, so I'll, I'll open the packs on stream, whatever you win, uh, we'll uh, put those away, sleeves, top loaders, and get them sent out to you. Um, if we hit a few goals, I'm gonna upgrade it from eight packs and an ETB to 36 packs and a booster box. So what you need to do is there is four videos, this one included, that need to hit 36 likes. The first one is very close. The second one is getting there. The third one is, uh, it's got a bit of work to do, but it's the more recent one. So uh, four videos need to hit 36 likes. Those are in the description. So go check those out now, watch them, like them. And we need to hit 315 subscribers by Friday. Uh, it's a bit of work to do. Uh, it averaged out to two subscribers a day and we've been a little bit slower than that, unfortunately. So there's a bit of work to do. So make sure you share this video with your friends, uh, your family. You've got a brother or sister that watches Pokemon. You've got a friend at school. Uh, make sure you share that with them get them to subscribe and like the video i will say now if we achieve the goal as it stands everybody that has entered the giveaway which you can do in the uh, description below uh, everyone that has entered the giveaway will win if we achieve the booster box goals you will all win doesn't matter where you are in the world i will dispatch to anywhere in the world uh it might not be quick if you're in you know australia or something it might take a few weeks but um I will definitely dispatch to anywhere in the world. Um, so make sure you get involved for that, guys. Um, no matter what, there's going to be a boost, uh, an elite trainer box given away, um, the contents of which at least. Uh, next thing, moving on, we are going to look at my first PSA submission. Um, there is some uh, base set cards in here that we're going to get to towards the end. Uh, and I'm hoping this will give an opportunity to show uh, the improvement of quality uh, on the recording. So first I have a few cards that uh, are just going to go away on a kind of economy submission. These will be a, kind of a cheap submission. I'm not too fussed about getting them back in time. Um, th these aren't exactly incredibly high value cards, but they're just cards I like. So we have the ho -Oh GX here. Um, this is a card I pulled in Hidden Fates recently in a video. It's a very nice card. And as you can see there, it's quite clean. Any of these little marks here, this is just on the uh, on the uh, top loader itself. Unfortunately, they've got a bit of dust on them. So that's my first card. That's the Horo GX. That's just going to be the uh, uh, the cheapest option. Uh, I'm going to submit that with graded gem when submissions open again in April. Uh, we have the Colossal from Darkness Ablaze, the golden card. There's that one. We have the Tapu Fini GX from Hidden Fates, Shiny Vault 92. Very nice card. Pulled that in a video as well. We have the Mewtwo GX. Pulled this in the same video that I pulled the Tapu Fini. And then we have some, uh, we have the Eternatus VMAX Rainbow Rare from Darkness Ablaze. I've had, I pulled this one a couple of months ago. We have a Shiny Vault Charmeleon from Hidden Fates. This is a duplicate. I have one in my binder as well as the Charmander, but I'm going to send off one of the uh, duplicates to get graded. We have 
and we have two EV shiny vaults from Hidden Fates. Um, th these aren't the most valuable cards. I think these have a value of about 25 to 30 pound raw, but I want to get them sent off. I want to get them graded, see what happens. I I've never had anything graded. Um, I really like these cards. So these are just going to go on a cheap submission. Might take six months, uh, might take nine months. I am happy with that. Next, we have what is going to be the Express, which I believe is the next submission up. Uh, these cards have a, a little bit more value, and if we get a good grade on them, um, yeah, they'll, they'll have quite a bit more value. So we have the Character Card Pikachu from Cosmic Eclipse. Very, very beautiful card. Very incredible card. This is a very clean. It has very nice centering. I didn't notice anything visible with it. Uh, the only thing that slightly concerns me is the top left corner. If you can see, it's, it's a little bit flat. I don't like the cut. You can see it's very curved, nice and neat, nice and perfect. And on the left here, it's a little bit flat. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. You can see it on the top right as well there. Uh, all these, these are just on the top loader. Otherwise, it's a very clean card um, and nothing really stands out. There's an ever so minuscule nicket in the bottom left corner. Uh, otherwise, this is a clean card. We have the Charizard VMAX from Darkness Ablaze. Uh, my experience with Darkness of Blaze is that the cards are always very clean. Uh, they always look very nice, well centered. Uh, that white stuff is just on the top loader. Uh, I really should get these cleaned before I send them off. Um, however, there we go, Darkness of Blaze Charizard VMAX. Then we have the Shiny Star V Charizard V. Pulled this in a video a couple of weeks ago. Uh, my first ever Japanese uh, booster box opening and we pulled the uh, shiny V Charizard. We have my first pull since I got back into Pokemon, which is the Charizard V from Champions Path. Now, unfortunately, as it is glaringly obvious, the centering is quite poor. Uh, the left is quite thin, the right is quite heavy, uh, and you can see that on the back. Uh, I'm, I wasn't going to get this graded, but I'm, I'm just going to do it for kind of uh, just personal reasons. Uh, it's, it's the first card that I pulled when I got back into Pokemon uh, about nine months ago. Uh, well, about six months ago, so I, I want to get it graded for that purpose. We have our Shining Fates Charizard VMAX, and unfortunately I did not open this in a video. Um, I've been opening a lot of Shining Fates in videos, but I've occasionally got hold of, uh, you know, two or three mini tins here and there, which aren't quite worthy of opening on a video. Um, and I opened this, uh, I had three mini tins, I opened them and I pulled the Charizard VMAX. Um, so that's going to get sent off. We have the Charizard GX, uh, which I pulled in Hidden Fates uh, in my last video. Uh, the centering looks ever so slightly left heavy, um, but I I'm, I'm not too bothered about that. I'm not really sending these cards off in the hopes they get a 10 and I, and I can sell them and make a lot of money. Uh, they're just cards that I like. They're kind of important to me. They're Charizards. Um, if they gain a bit of value, that's great, but I, I, I'm not sending them off to then go sell them. Then we have my base set now. I have completed the base set. I completed the base set when I was about nine or 10 years old. And uh, these are the cards we have from it. Uh, I have the full base set. These are just the hollows I'm gonna send off. I'm really, really not expecting anything good with these. Uh, you're gonna see now, uh, lightly played might be an understatement on some of these. So we have a nine tails. Now, the great thing about this is this is a fourth print, as you can see there, 1999 to 2000, which means this was printed in 2000. And the print run then was a very short, I believe, because they moved from base set onto uh, the next sets. Um, but as you can see, it is played. Uh, this this white stuff on the bottom is not the top loader. This is very much the card. Uh, unfortunately, at nine years old, I didn't understand the importance of keeping my cards protected. Um, so I played about with them. I traded them with friends. Yeah. We have a Clefairy. Uh, now you can't see, but this is quite bent. Uh, as a card, you can kind of see there. Um, that is on the top loader, but the whitening around the edges, the bottom left corner, all of these things, these are all on the card. I'm not expecting anything great with these, probably a bunch of threes or fours or something like that. But there's a couple in here that might do okay. We have Mewtwo. This is pretty decent on the front, a bunch of whitening on the back. We can maybe get an okay grade with that. We have an Alakazam. Looking quite clean on the front. On the back again, it's whitening. That, that's going to be the biggest issue. Corners are going to be nicked, whitening. Um, there's probably a whole bunch of surfacing issues on these cards as well. We have a Chansey, I believe, on the back. This is not going to be pretty. Oh, I might be wrong. I'm thinking of a different card. But you can see wear and tear, 
been played with. Not expecting anything great on these. Uh, we have a Hitmonchan. Uh, that's not too bad on the front, but you can see there the hollow scratched very bad condition. These uh, weren't, uh, weren't ever put in sleeves. They were put inside my binder when I weren't playing with them, but uh, yeah. We have a Machamp. This has a first edition stamp, but uh, I mean, it's technically a first edition. However, every base set Machamp was a first edition. I believe it came from a theme deck with the first edition stamp. I believe there is some uh, images and videos online where you can see the, the huge print sheet of base set cards and <laughs> like half of the cards are Machamps and the other half are the remaining hollows in base set. Uh, so there's a, there's about 10 times as many Machamps as there is any other base set card. Um, but you can see that's not looking pretty. Uh, the bottom right corner, it's bleeding, the hollow. Um, yeah, it's it's not a pretty card. We have a Nido King. It's seen better days in the top right corner there. Big fan of Nido King. Would love to see the Pokemon more. Uh, it was always one of those Pokemon that, uh, you know, it wasn't a Charizard or a Blastoise, but it was always really cool. We have a Polyrath. Now this has definitely seen better days, as you can see. Top left corner, bleeding the hollow. Top right corner, bent. Bottom right corner, bleeding the hollow. Bottom left corner, bleeding the hollow. <laughs> and yeah. Um, played with is, is very loosely putting it there. We have a Magneton. This looks pretty okay from the front. Um, the surfacing isn't too bad on it. There's a few issues. Uh, a lot of those scratches you can see is actually the top loader. Um, but the back, again, whitening is always going to be the biggest issue, top left. We have a, a Gyarados, a very cool Pokemon, a favorite of many, not looking the worst, not looking the best, again, whitening. We have a Raichu now, this is not going to be pretty. Oh, it's, it's the Raichu and Zapdos, it isn't going to be pretty. Um, as you can see at the bottom there, the hollow is heavily bleeding. Um, and then on the back, the bottom left corner, whitening, not pretty at all. Then we have Zapdos, bottom left corner being peeled away, bottom right corner bleeding. And you can see here, these aren't pretty at all. And then we get to the big three, we have a Venusaur. Now my Venusaur is pretty good, actually. I think this is an okay Venusaur. Um, you can see there, trying to avoid hitting the light. You can see there, the surfacing isn't too bad. The centering looks nice. Probably a tiny bit top heavy. And then on the back, not too many obvious issues. There's a little bit of whitening at the top there, a little bit in the bottom left corner, a little bit in the bottom right. But I think on a good day, that could get an okay grade. I, 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 don't, I really don't know what to expect with PSA. Um, I, I see cards that look incredibly mint and they come back with eights. So who knows, this might even be like a three. We have a Blastoise, seen better days, bleeding quite severely around the edge, the top right corner, bottom right corner, and on the back, seeing better days and then we have our charizard my base set charizard i've owned this for 20 years uh, unfortunately it's not the best of conditions it's kind of dented there and the top right corner has seen better days and then you can see the the whitening all along the top uh, all along the bottom however my base set cards i'm just grading them because they're basic cards. I would like to get them graded just to see what they are. These are cards that are, as I said, 25 years old to me. Um, so I, I'm really not too fussed what they come back with. They'll probably come back with a bunch of twos, threes, or you know maybe there's a six or seven in there or something. Um, I don't have any intention on selling. Uh, I, I've said to myself, I'm probably gonna hold on to my basic cards for another 25 years. Uh, somewhere around the 50th anniversary, I think might be a good time to consider selling. Uh, they might have a bit of value there where we can uh, do something with them. Uh, so that's going to be my PSA submission. I'm going to be doing that in April. I will have a video update when that comes back. But uh, with the current situation with PSA and grading, that might take a while. So next we're going to get into the Eternatus VMAX box. We will uh, get that open and uh, we'll skip to that and then uh, get the packs open for you. Okay, so we have the Eternatus V promo card, full art. Very nice, very, very nice card. Eternatus is a Pokemon that uh, has grown on me, although I think that could be because it is appearing in a lot of sets. Um, it has eluded me in Shining Fates so far, um, but then again, so did Charizard for a while. I'm sure I will hit 
them. And then we have the Jumbo promo card. This is another one that I quite like. Um, <laughs> I've always considered getting Jumbo grading, uh, Jumbo cards graded, but this would be a look at the. That would be quite <laughs> a centering issue there. Jesus, on the, even on the Jumbo cards, the centering isn't always great. Anyway, I'll put that away with all my other Jumbo cards. And then we have the pin. I collect the pins. Eternatus pin, very nice. Put that with all my others. And then we have some packs. We have Sword and Shield, Steam Siege, Two Darkness Ablaze, and the Burning Shadows. We will open them Steam Siege first. We have a code card there. As a code card, enjoy. I kind of like the card style. One, two, three. There's no energy in Steam Siege. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I like the card style. I like the art style and some of the stuff. Um, but this, the set isn't uh, that valued. Uh, we have a Captivating Poker Puff, a Flaffy, Steel Spirit Link, Nidoran, a Fungus, Mankey, Clink, a Mantine, a Talon Flame Break card. Very nice, and a Talon Flame. I'm going to need that for my set for sure. I don't recall seeing that before, so I will certainly need that for my set. I'm waiting for my one, two, three, and an energy. Waiting for my ultra premium collection, my Zacian and Zamazenta, uh, you know, the big black and gold thing. I'm waiting for that to arrive. It was supposed to arrive on March the 5th. Unfortunately, it appears to have been delayed by about four weeks. So hopefully we'll be opening that on the channel soon. And we have a Garbantula, Evloon. Pokey Kid, very nice. Still haven't got that from. Actually, no, I have. I got that in Shining Fates. No, um, it's it's Ball Guy that I'm missing. Pokey Kid and Ball Guy were the ones I wanted. I have Pokey Kid. Uh, Rhyhorn, a Rookie D, Krabby, a Grookey, a Mudbray, a Reverse Hollow Rhyperia, that's a rare, that's nice, and a Lapras Non Hollow. We have Code Card Enjoy. One, two, three. And there's the energy, fire energy. We have a Laron, a Old PC, an Ariados, a Skarmory, a Pansage, Electric, a Fletchling, a Galarian Mr. Mime, a Galarian Darmanitan Reverse Hollow, so rare, I believe, and a Serena. We have a Chochard, enjoy. One, two, three. And water energy, okay, fighting. We have a Poltergeist, a Soul Rock, a Kabu, a Skitty, a Dino, a Jigglypuff, a Dunsparce, a Clink, a Reverse Hollow Billowing Spoke, and a Tyranitar. Very nice. Very sick art on that. Looking forward to the new V Striker tins that come out in May. There is a Tyranitar one and an uh, Empoleon one. We have a Chochard. Enjoy. One, two, three, and an energy, grass energy. We have a Gloom, a Seviper, Seviper maybe, Lana, a Tangela, a Tynamo, a Crab Roller, an Inke, a Ladybug, a Reverse Hollow Heatmore, and an Electros. Not today on that one. There we go, guys. Not many packs open today. I don't have too many. I have a Vivid Voltage Booster Box. I was hoping it was here today, but um, there was a bit of an issue with it. Hopefully, we get it soon. Um, plan on opening that in a video soon. Um, and then there'll be some Battle Stars openings as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you check out the other videos for the giveaway, guys. If you're still watching, check out the other videos for the giveaway. Get involved. Um, there's a link in the description to enter the giveaway. All you need to do, it will take you to a web store. If you uh, purchase the thing in the web store, completely free, no payment details necessary. If you purchase that, um, you will be entered into the giveaway. You don't need to purchase that more than once. You don't need to do it for every video, just once, um, and you'll be in there. A couple of people have done it multiple times. That's not a problem. I will just dismiss those. Everyone gets uh, one entry. So make sure you get involved, guys. I appreciate the support, and thanks for watching.